Black Magic Sorcerer here with another Snake Dad video, and we are taming a Burmese Python who has been through a lot. And I think uh, when you buy snakes from a snake breeder, you never know what kind of condition they're going to be in. I think he was a bit underfed and extremely hungry. And now that he is eight and his bloating has went away. He is much calmer. He was just a wild, crazy snake. He still does not like going back into his little terrarium, but we've been uh, working with the hook, doing some head tap training to uh, calm him down. And as you can see now, he is just a, like totally relaxed. Um, I'm amazed that he doesn't want to try to get away. He just wants to sleep on this gloved hand. He's not biting, but I'm just wearing the glove because I'm getting him used to touch. So I'm touching him with my free hand that I'm holding the phone and stroking him and talking to him and doing Reiki on him. One of the things that uh, I don't think people realize you can do when you have pets is you can do Reiki on your pets. They really like it. Um, as you can see, even a totally vicious creature like a Burmese python who comes out of a uh, hellish environment where they probably don't make maybe, you know, eight out of ten snakes makes it. The rest are probably eight by predator. But this big boy here, uh, he's worth the trouble because he is so beautiful. He has that leopard and... Uh, I don't even know if you call it leopard. It's more like a kind of reminds me of a giraffe pattern that he has. And he's just a good old fashioned Burmese python. But, you know, little boys and girls that are snakes, they get traumatized and they don't know what the hell's going on when some giant's picking them up and taking videos of them and trying to play with them like a toy. So, you know, you have to have a lot of patience and have almost no fear of snakes. Um, him biting the shit out of me didn't really help my, uh, um, confidence with him, but I just had to get over it. I used my gloves. We've been doing the hook and now he's starting to slowly come around. He's starting to slowly realize that no one's going to kill him. He's getting fed. He's got water. He has playtime and there's nothing for him to get excited about. So I don't know if it's just a matter of time or preference or what from snake to snake. But once you start loving on them and showing them the security of having their own home, their own food, and, you know, really just giving them that human attention, they can't help but calm down. So dark blessings, my friends, and um, a little update on... Uh, some tarot work. So this is my first version of the Empress. Um, I want to go back and redo her with lighter hair and a different version of her, but I'm experimenting now with um, just different colors and using the traditional rider weight, but putting my own spin on it. You know, you can see she has her Venus symbol um, I gave her eyes some color. That's her wand floating there in the air. <clears throat> These energy balls where you would normally see pomegranates on her outfit. But, um, you know, just having fun, really. And at the same time, letting this character speak to me. So if you're going through the tarot one by one, each major arcana, this is a really great way to... Uh, connect with the cards is to draw your own tarot and every tarot reader should do that. So anyway, as we adventure deeper into much darker and more hardcore subject, I figure it's very important to dial in the tarot and even learn more and more as you go. I'm sure everyone will tell you my mentor, Carrie, anyone that's very into um, tarot will tell you it's something that comes with time and your gift and building it up really does come with a lot of practice and just trusting yourself and using your intuition and bonding with a snake also helps as long as they aren't ferocious. Don't try to bite your head off. So anyway, uh, 
Hope you enjoy this and more to come. Dark blessings.